Okay, quite the invention now that is changing the way doctors perform brain surgery, and it was created by Northwestern students. Check out the, I don't know if I'm saying this right, the Hubley drill. It's a battery-powered cranial drill. It creates a hole in the skull of a patient with a brain bleed. It was just used in the operating room for the first time this past fall. We have the inventor, Casey Kadir, of Hubley Surgical with us along with Dr. Matthew Potts, a neurosurgeon at Northwestern Hospital. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Casey, am I saying that right? How do you pronounce it? Hubbly Drill, that's Hubbly correct. Hubbly Drill, awesome. So take us back in time, Casey. As an undergrad, you saw a hand crank, so like actually wound by the surgeon, neuro, neurosurgical drill, and you said it th you thought it looked medieval. Absolutely. Well, neurosurgeon Dr. Amit Iyer and I founded Hubbly Surgical out of Northwestern in 2017. Amit had been using this hand crank drill to perform some of the most frequent neurosurgical procedures. And with this hand crank drill, it's possible to accidentally plunge into the patient's brain. Ooh. Amit and I believed that to be an unacceptable standard of care. So we developed the Hubley drill to safely stop automatically when it breaks through the skull. And six years later, Dr. Potts was the first in the world to use Hubley drill to save a life. Can you explain to us how does it know when to stop? We have both proprietary software and hardware mechanisms that stop the drill automatically as soon as it breaks the skull. So Dr. Potts, what was it like using that drill for the first time? Did it make you nervous? Uh, not so much. I had had the uh, good fortune to have used it in practice several times before. I've known Casey and Amit for, for several years as they worked on this project. So. I had used it on models, uh, and it worked in the human exactly as we expected it. It's just incredible. Can you explain to us why is a tool like this that saves time during brain surgery so valuable? So this is typically used for emergency procedures that we're not actually doing in the operating room, but in the ICU at the bedside. There's situations where we just don't have time to bring patients to the operating room. And so the reason why we use that hand crank drill in the past is because it was inexpensive, it was easy to keep in the ICU. Um, but it's, it's obviously not ideal for a lot of different reasons, including the ability to, or the possibility of plunging. It wasn't as uh, accurate and it can be a little cumbersome to use. So this new drill really solved all of those problems. There's a little green light on the back of the drill. Casey, what does it tell you? That tells you that you have the minimum amount of force applied for the procedure. So it's an extra feature for user control. It looks very user friendly. Uh, thank you so much for walking us through how you created uh, this amazing tool and how it's benefiting patients already. It's been so lovely to talk to both of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.